to Well of a Day 2024. I'm Maria Sorreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. This is the 39th annual Well of a Day, and we're so glad you're here. We're having a whale of a time. We're having a whale of a time. It is a beautiful, picture perfect day. We've got everyone here in the community who is enjoying themselves. And Liz, we're having so much fun. The music's rocking out this morning. They're rocking out. The whales are rocking out. Of course, this is to celebrate the great whale migration up our coastline. And uh, you've got everything going on here food, fun, education, and Maria and I, of course, doing all of our favorite things at Whale of a Day. Shopping! <laughs> We're shopping. There are amazing food trucks here, and that cattle corn is just right in front of me, and you know I'll be having that in just a little while. And one thing we're doing, RPV TV, the last few years is we have our very own booth. We're joining everybody else, and there's just so many cool booths here. And, yes. Uh, I know we were giving out mugs, and you're talking to a lot of people. You know, it's really been fun because um, the city itself has many booths kind of dispersions all around so people can get an opportunity to really learn about our city and uh, have some cattle corn too. Yes, some cattle corn. And you know, RPV is absolutely one of the most beautiful places anywhere, as we call it, paradise. And on a day like today, it doesn't get any better. And uh, what are some of your favorite things at Whale of a Day? Well, my favorite thing is really just talking to everybody. As I was doing this morning, some of our city leaders are here. So let's go take a listen and see what they had to say. And we are now joined by our city manager, Ara Moranian, here at Well of a Day. And you picked a picture-perfect day for Well of a Day, Ara. I wouldn't say I picked it. I think Mother Nature picked it. And so, we, yes, we were supposed to have Well of a Day two weeks ago on April 13th. And the weather forecast did not look like it was going to yield this kind of weather. And so we... We decided to postpone, and I'm glad we did because today is a picture-perfect Saturday morning here in Rancho Palos Verdes. And I think all of the residents are out here. As you can see, it is booming and really it's such a hit every year, really. It really is, and can you believe we've been doing this for 39 years? Yes. This is our 39th anniversary, and and I, it, it's amazing. It always gets even better. We have great booths out here and, and food vendors and games and and live music it's just a great way to bring the community together and, and kick off spring as well as uh, as the whale of a day and looking looking for whales you know what else is really fun is there's so many different city booths that residents can go around and they can learn more about the city where they live it, it is a great opportunity to um, visit the different booths and learn about the different programs and the different organizations out there we've got the first responders between the sheriff's department and the fire department we've got the land conservancy out here we've got the library district um, just all these groups and all these organizations that represent Rancho Palos Verdes and the Palos Verdes Peninsula. All right, so what is your favorite part of Well of a Day? You know, you ask me this question every, every year, year and, and, and you know what, it stays the same. To me, it brings me such joy to see the community come together, uh, the families, the kids running around. There's nothing like seeing kids run around. I, I think about a, a few months ago when we uh, did the ribbon cutting for Ladera Linda and I was so moved by all the kids that were in the playground and same again I mean if your camera goes around yeah. look at all the kids running around and having a good time and creating memories that will last a lifetime. That's right we all have our friendship bracelets we on do, with the do. little whale yeah. so that's that's awesome. I got the, dark blue, I got the light blue. Exactly exactly well enjoy the rest of your day thank you for spending a few minutes with us and enjoy well of the day. And we are now joined by our mayor, John Cruikshank. John, welcome to Whale of a Day. How much fun are you having out there? Well, I'm having a whale of a day, of yes, course. No, I'm having fun. I mean, this is actually one of my favorite events. I know that you uh, interview us at these different ones, but this is the one where you're in here here during the day. The sun is out today. Thank yes. God that we actually postponed it. Uh, and uh, the, the kids and the families are having a great time. And I talked to one family and the hamburgers are good too. <laughs> you know, and you mentioned the kids and the families. Really, this is the reason that the city brings everybody together to get the residents out and say, hey, we care about you and we value you and please come out and have fun. I mean, that's the whole purpose of community is to, to bring people together um, and to have an event. Um, I know all of our residents and our neighbors that come to this event um, from surrounding cities 
Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of pressures on everyone and, and you know, even since COVID and all the, the times we had in, you know, just a few years ago until now, this is just a great experience for people and um, having good food and being able to catch up with family and friends and, uh, you know, the bounce house. I think I'm going to try to get council member Dave Bradley into the bounce house. Are you all right? Here we go. Here we go. The problem with bounce houses, though, is with the sun shining on it, they get a little warm in there when you're bouncing around. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys might have to challenge each other to something else, but are we getting ready for the 4th of July challenge? Oh, yeah, no, we're, we, uh, I'm always ready for that, and yeah, I always tell uh, Dave that we don't have to do it, uh, but he is just a glutton for punishment. He's a glutton for punishment. You know what else I really noticed this year, too, is there are a lot of different city booths here from Rec and Parks and some of the committees, which really lets people become more aware of what the city does and how they can get involved. Well, that was the first thing I did when I got here. After I parked, I actually walked all the booths, and, and I was checking out what was going on. There was... You know, you have the docents that are here, you have people that are ha part of rescue, animal shelter areas, that you've got the, the library districts here. Um, I believe, uh, let's see, South, the South Bay City Council of Governments is here. And you've got all these different people that are out uh, telling us about the amazing work that they do for our community. And so I always enjoy that. Um, I'm, I'm going to miss this, actually, as being a council member, but I still live in Rancho Palos Verdes, and I, like anyone, can come out here and enjoy it every year. Which of course you will, and this really just kicks off the summer for Rancho Palos Verdes because in addition to this, 4th of July, we've got concerts in the park, it'll be very busy. No, it, it's going to be busy. Um, I'm hoping that we have the 80s band again, of course. I know our city manager, Ara, loves the 80s, yes, he does. and so, and I love the 80s, and so, yeah, right? So you can't, you can't go wrong with that. We are now joined by Councilman Dave Bradley, who is already getting into the music here. I like it. it this is fun. Welcome to Well of a Day. Thank you. I can't be uh, more excited that we're actually here. It's great that we delayed it by two weeks because it would have been really sloppy two weeks ago. But this is a beautiful uh, spring day in RPV. Um, this is always one of my favorite events. I uh, get the community out here for our first major event of the year. Uh, beautiful sunshine, watching a little whale uh, migration up the coast. It couldn't be nicer. You know, it's so important, I think, for the city to do this every year. And this 4th of July, all of these really family-friendly events, and we see so many families out here already. Absolutely. In fact, a, a gentleman that I play tennis with came up to me uh, just, just now and said, thank you for doing this. This is my favorite event of the year. My kids love coming out. Uh, my kids used to love coming out. Unfortunately, they're both now in college. They're much more expensive now, but they're still cute. Um, but yeah, it's a great event, and uh, they get the community together. The first event of the year, like I said, uh, really sets the tone for the rest of the year for RPV. You know what I've noticed a lot as well, in including RPV TV, we've got Rec and Parks, and many city booths, and it's so great because residents can actually stop and talk to all of us representing the city and learn more about what RPV offers. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, it's such a great city. In fact, this morning there was an article in the uh, Daily Breeze talking about uh, the new underwater reef that was put out in front of uh, um, Trump National that uh, has an order of magnitude more fish life in it now. And some of the marine biologists said it's just absolutely out, or, uh, unbelievable how um, how much population has come back in that area which had been decimated for so many years so just a really great day to come out and celebrate the community and celebrate the um, the uh, ecology of uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. Absolutely and we've got many food trucks out here that we're looking at and a pasta truck this year these are gonna these are all gonna be packed you know that Absolutely. I mean, these are all new ones. Actually, I don't yeah. think we've had any of these before. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying a little bit of the street food fair um, and walking around and talking to folks. It's uh, great. And also the beer and wine tent is over there as well. And the kettle corn tent is right oh, over there. Oh, kettle corn and... Oh, okay. It's summer, almost summer, so we got to get into the, the spirit of it. Absolutely. We are now joined by our, should I say our favorite councilwoman, Barbara Ferraro. Barbara, welcome to Whale of the Day. Thank you. This is one of my favorite events. 
You know, it's so much fun because we see the kids having fun, the families. It's really such a family event. Why is this so important to the city to do this every year? Well, Whale of a Day encompasses a lot of things, but it's, it's another excuse to have a community event. But it's about being near the ocean and what that means to RPV. And we have a lot of people that are volunteers that come out, you know, our... Um, the docents, for sure. Yes. And, um, and it's fun. Yes. You know, it is. And Rec and Parks does such an amazing job every year putting this on, as they also do with Fourth of July. And uh, we're going to have concerts in the park again this year. So, so many fun things that we do in RPV. Yeah, and I think all of these events are very important to bring the community together. And we have so many problems right now, and it's good to do things that are joyful. And I love this because, I mean, it's outdoors. It's a little cool in the shade right now, but it's going to warm up later, I know. And it's a perfect day. You know, it was scheduled two weeks ago and it rained, but we put it off till now and I, that was the right thing to do yes. because it's lovely today. Yes, a beautiful day. Now, what is your favorite part of Well of a Day? I just like the ambiance of being here with the people and the kids. You know, so many little kids come and they're just running around and having a good time and... I think it's important to have events like that in the city, you know, where all ages can get together and have a good time. We are now joined by our Mayor Pro Tem, who is here for well of a day. Eric, are you having fun out here today? I have fun every year that I'm out here, Maria, and I've started to have a great time already. And the energy is picking up here as we speak. I can feel it around me. The people are coming in droves. so. It'll be another great day. It's another great day, and thankfully, two weeks ago, what, it wasn't such a nice day, but today is picture perfect. That's right. Our, our staff was very wise to make the change, and it seems like they dialed it up really well today, and we've got wonderful weather. Everyone's out. Why is it so important for the city to do things like this for the community? Well, it's our way of bringing everyone together. As you know, uh, we have multiple centers, I think, in this city where we have an opportunity to get together. Ladera Linda, City Hall, obviously the Point Vicente Interpretive Center is just one of those special places in our city where people can come out and be together, especially in the environment that we live in. We're so blessed to be here. And this really kicks it off because next we'll have Fourth of July, and we're going to have summer concerts in the park, lots of fun things going on in our city. Th that's right. This is, this is my favorite time of year, frankly, because this is the, the beginning of all of that one fun stuff we're going to do here. And you know what else I love? I, I noticed walk just walking around well of a day this year is we have different city booths kind of scattered all over, so people can really get uh, learn about Rec and Parks, they can learn about about uh, traffic and safety, all, all different kinds of things the city offers. That, that's right. In fact, I spent uh, the last little while over at those committee booths. Okay. I want to add one. Our Youth Advisory Committee members are here yes. for the very first time, for the very first year of our committee, and they're out there recruiting uh, the future leaders of our city. Very nice. Well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us, Mr. Eric Alegria, and uh, we wish you and your family a happy Well of a Day. Thank you as always, Maria, and a happy Well of a Day. All right, I am now joined by Emily Rodine, who put all of this together for us, and not only did she do that, but it's a picture-perfect day. Now, we had an incident a couple weeks ago. We were supposed to have Well of a Day, but it's bright and sunny, and it looks great, Emily. Honestly, I just think it's meant to be. It's such a perfect day that, you know, that little rain maybe was about to happen. Right? How difficult was it to try to get everybody to come back two weeks later? That can be a little bit of a hassle, but I'm really happy to report that pretty much everyone was able to stick to the new day. Um, uh, I have a lot of help internally. My staff, Simi, she's really been on my right hand and kind of leading the charge. And so that's what really helps kind of get all this together. I know that every year we have a lot of the same things, but this year there seems to be um, some placement of things in different areas, which is really nice. It just feels bigger. 
Yeah, I think with the, especially with the inflatable area, it's really opened up, and we actually added two additional inflatables this year. I think that's one of our most popular attractions, so we really wanted to meet the need, and I think we've done that perfectly. I love the fact also that there are so many si different city booths, so people can actually walk around and learn about rec and parks. They can learn about different committees that are in the city. So. It's really educational as well. Yeah, we have the Emergency Preparedness Committee, um, Public Safety, and then we also have the Youth, of, the Youth Advisory Commission. And as you and I were just talking about, this band is so good. I don't know how you do it, but they are fantastic. It's a tough spot to fill because we have so many people interested in performing at Whale of a Day, and it's just because of the thousands of people that come here. It's really a great opportunity for the bands, um, but we really take our time and make sure we you know, listen to their videotapes online, and this group is really great because, yeah, they have such a wide spread of music they can play. It really fills the day, and it's something for everybody. Absolutely something for everybody, including amazing food trucks, beer and wine. You want it? It's here at Well of a Day. I think everyone's really loving the food trucks this year. I haven't heard anything but good things coming from folks. So we have a little bit of something for everybody's taste. And of course, if you want to get your face painted like Emily did, you can do that right here at Well of a Day as well. Yeah, we have some great face painters. Um, the Docents also run that station. So definitely check it out anytime you come to Well of a Day. You know, lastly, you talked about your staff and you guys just do such a great job, but you couldn't do this without all the volunteers, all the docents. They put so much time into it. Yeah, this is a co-sponsored event between the city and Los Serenos de Point Vicente, and we start planning for this event in November. So it's really many months, and it's a joint effort between these two organizations to make it happen, and, I mean, that's the only way it gets done. <laughs> well, we have a silent auction, and we have a raffle that this activity supports funding for the docents here at PVIC. Um, we have docent classes that start every September and end before the holidays. We're always looking for docents. The docents are the ones that lead tours within the museum and it's great to meet the community that comes in. You also have an opportunity to see all the gray whales and all the activity that happens here on the peninsula. This is our fundraiser for the year, but it's actually an educational event. Well, Liz, there is really so much going on here well today, so let's uh, go out and check it out. What do you think? Yeah, let's have more fun, fun, fun in the sun. Hi, I'm Kathy with the American Cetacean Society's Los Angeles chapter. We're here today at Whale of a Day at Point Vicente Interpretive Center. Um, we're here to help educate and uh, show the kids and everybody who's coming along what we have going on here. We have examples of how baleen whales feed. Um, and we also have our models of our whales. We have our census program um, over here counting the whales. They're here from December 1st all the way through uh, mid-May. Uh, that's one of our, the census programs is one of our programs within the Los Angeles chapter. We also have another table at the very far end. That's our Cabrillo Whale Watch table. We're also associated with the um, Cabrillo uh, Marine Aquarium in San Pedro. Oh my gosh, and there's a giant turtle coming up right now. Okay, so not a whale, but some turtles are marine turtles too. So um, the Los Angeles, uh, the American Cetacean Society in general, uh, we're here about education and conservation with the whales. And we're trying to educate people on emergency preparedness today. And one of the main things we're pushing is making sure everyone is signed up for Alert South Bay. Alert South Bay is a 14-city consortium of South Bay cities that have gathered together to make sure that you can receive governmental alerts easily on your cell phone or house phone or email whenever there's a major emergency that's announced by local city government, either the fire or police departments or city managers. And it's easy to sign up, just go to Alert South Bay on the website or you can punch in this QR code, which you'll remember. <laughs>
<laughs> and that will lead you to the Everbridge website. And the Everbridge website allows you to do sign up and put in different information. Like I said, if you want to have different cell phone numbers or house phone numbers or email numbers. That way, if something is going off at an emergency, you'll be aware of what it is and you'll get notified. If you don't sign up, you won't get that. Covers all the South Bay cities. Hi, my name is Lisa Wellstead with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes here at Whale of a Day. I'm coming to you from the Sunset Room located inside the Interpretive Center. This room is showcasing all of our entries to the middle school poster contest. We've had a really great year of beautiful posters. You'll see the top three behind me. Uh, we're so thankful to these middle schoolers and local middle schools for participating again in our poster contest. So in addition to our middle school poster contest, we also have a bookmark contest for grades TK through fifth grade. We have three winners in each age group category, and we make a bookmark similar to this one with their artwork on it as well. Anytime you stop by the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, you can pick up this bookmark or the elementary school bookmark for free at the front desk. Welcome everybody, my name is Cheryl. I'm a volunteer for the Gray Whale Census and the American Cetacean Society Los Angeles chapter. And we are here at the Interpretive Center at Point Vicente looking for gray whales that are now migrating from Baja all the way up to Alaska. And at this time of year, what we're really looking for are moms and babies, cows and calves. So what we're doing is just scanning around and looking for signs of whales. Probably the most common way that we sight them is by seeing their blows, which you might be kind of interested to know are sometimes heart-shaped. Sometimes too we can see their backs. And the interesting thing about gray whales is they do not have a dorsal fin. They have what's called a dorsal ridge kind of like the knuckles on the back of your hand. So we're hoping that we will see some gray whales today here at um, Whale of a Day at Point Vicente. I love Whale of a Day. Well, we're having a whale of time with you, Sophia. Have fun, thanks. Whale? For sure. She's been... Come and take a whale. You can touch, touch it. Touch it. Yes, this is a Come Pacific gray whale. whale. And there's a dolphin. Oh, she got to Come and carry it around. Uh, you can carry it around in a circle and come right back. volunteer group who goes around to uh, wherever they need us and we just help out the community. So today we're working at Whale of the Day. We're making whale hats for uh, pe uh, kids. Uh, yeah, so it's really cool that we get to volunteer and participate in our community. If you want to learn about uh, what we do and join our group, if you're, uh, you have to be, uh, I don't think you can't be older than a high schooler. Uh, you can uh, go online and just search up Lion's Heart and uh, you can research, uh, see information about us. So.
love the shopping opportunities continue. I love how many like sea themed gifts we're finding. So many sea themed gifts, beautiful gifts for Mother's Day, Father's Day, teachers gifts, and uh, maybe a few things for us too. And I love that we support local artisans. We have our own gift shop inside the Interpretive Center. Yep. There's just so many great things to find. And I just thought a really cool whale necklace. Good shopping. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, Liz, it's been another successful Well of a Day celebration right here in Rancho Palos Verdes. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, big congratulations again to our City's Rec and Parks team, Los Serenos, and everybody. It takes a village to put it this does. together. Absolutely. And, of course, a big thank you to the whales. That's why we're here celebrating. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. I'm Maria Soraya, and we'll see you next time.